minutes into the game, and because Sling TV wasn't working, I missed the first 20 minutes of it. Running around like an idiot all morning, trying to get home in time for this game to start. Thanks, Sling. And she was like, who? And he was like, ah. And we was like, what? And she was like, who? And he was like, ah. And we was like, what? Go, go, go. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Just Ask Joey. I'm your host, Joey. This is the only place on the internet where a former idiot answers your questions to help you either avoid idiocy or get over your idiocy. For those of you watching on YouTube, if you're wondering why I'm so dressed up today, uh, I just got back from church. You're going to be watching this on the 4th of July, if you watch it on its release date. And I seem uh, unusually patriotic. And not that I'm not normally patriotic, but without even thinking about it, I dressed very ready for the uh, uh, Fourth of July. So I thought, eh, I might as well just go with it. I don't usually dress up for the shows. Yeah, I'll do something a little different. Today's question is something that... Actually, you know what? Today's question would be perfect for our first sponsor. Hang on. All right. Today's podcast is brought to you by... Prison Diarrhea, a San Quentin comedy, kinda, written by, whoops, written by me, check it out, Amazon, iTunes, everywhere, you can find it everywhere, I've got audiobook, Kindle book, paperback, whatever, you got a book club out there, you want to order it for your book club, I can get it for super cheap, we could do like a Skype thing at the end of it, you guys want to ask questions, I think it's pretty interesting, but it's just me, but it is the epitome of... The answer to my question today. You want to know what the question is? I'm sure you do. The question is, what is the upside to failure? You can take this at pretty much any level. It can be a little failure, like you didn't do that well on your math test. It could be a little failure. You know, you got a speeding ticket. You burnt the chicken. Little failure. Or it can be a monster failure right here could be a monster failure. You totally messed up. You're an idiot. You're a dumbass. You either stay at the bottom where you have put yourself or you climb your way out of the hole that you dug. I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. One of my goals is to do a TED Talk. Preferably invited to do a TED Talk, not submit my stuff to, be, to do a TED Talk. But either way, I would take it. So I would love to do a TED Talk. And I think this at least at this point, would be kind of my bread and butter for what that TED Talk would be like. What is the upside of failure? And there's a freaking huge upside, but you have to be strong enough to use it. This is not me coming to you saying, oh, look at me, look how strong I am. This is, I was a freaking disaster for years and then went there and just through constant reflection and constant rebuilding and the drive to not let my mistake completely defeat me because it's not just me that gets if I lay down and defeat it's not just me that gets defeated it's my wife who stuck with me it's my daughters it's my parents my aunts and uncles my grandma my family my friends all those people have a little piece of failure with them if I just lay down so if I get up and I bust my ass every day, if I do these vlogs and try to help people, if I do the business stuff with the, the media company and the management company and the music stuff and the writing stuff, if I push and crush and audit myself so I'm better and better every single day, that gets me this much further away from failing. Because I could choose to just fail and just sit down and lay down and sit in, my, in the, the crap that I freaking put myself in or I can change the narrative long term keep pushing every day to get better until the narrative changes from this mistake to oh he's not that guy to he was that was a mistake to oh this is the person he really is you should see all the stuff he's done so it's all about changing the narrative how you deal with failure you can either control your narrative or you could your narrative can be controlled by somebody else so the upside of failure the main thing for on any level and I'm talking on a 
freaking major level for me personally. I'm assuming you guys aren't searching for answers because you burnt the soup or whatever. I'm assuming you guys have some pretty big stuff you have to deal with. But the upside of failure is clarity. You can now look and know that you messed up. Now you can figure out why you messed up. I'm assuming leading up to this point, there were you're going to look back from your mistake on you know, in your history, and you're going to find times where they may not have been as bad as what you did, but they were kind of, you know, maybe they were in the same ballpark. And you're going to wonder how you let something that you wonder how you let that progress. And how there's no, once you mess up, there's no denying the fact you just have to own it. And once you own it, you have the clarity, you can figure out exactly where you went wrong, why you did it, what led up to it? What was the beginning of it? What were the pieces of it? And you can, it's like a little puzzle piece and you're going to put them together and it takes time and it takes a lot of effort. You really have to really evaluate yourself. You're not going to necessarily get the, the, the quick answer right away. You're going to, you're going to jump on a quick answer to go, oh, why did I do this? I'm such an idiot. I did this because of blank. But give yourself time to really think about it because for every big mistake, there's a starting point. And you got to figure out what that starting point was. Go way back. Take all the elements of, of your mistake. Maybe there was alcohol involved. So you walk backwards from this alcohol mistake and figure out, okay, where does, my al- where does the alcohol issue start? How does it progress from A to B to C to D to totally made an effed up mistake? Maybe you have issues with lying. Okay, so why do you lie? What's the root of lying? How is it manifesting itself? If you've messed up, obviously it manifested itself in a very negative way. So just be honest with yourself and it's negative. But I think the, the, the clarity of whatever it was that you were telling yourself before the mistake, you don't have that anymore. And that's a great thing. At the end of this book, by the way, those of you listening on iTunes, the book is called Prison Diarrhea. It's diary with an A in parentheses. But there's a section at the end of the book called The Five Steps of Freedom. And the first part of The Five Steps of Freedom, the most vital part, the part that if you failed, you have this already, so you're good to go, is truth. And once you have the truth out there, you have to deal with it. Now, you know the truth and other people know the truth. And that combination of everybody knowing the truth means that you have to deal with it now. And that's extremely uncomfortable thing and an extremely wonderful thing at the same time. Because whatever stories you've been telling yourself, whatever stories you've been telling other people, you can't tell them anymore because they know the truth. And you know the truth. And you may have known the truth all along, but psychologically, when you tell other people lies or have truths or non-truths or you just don't talk about it at all when you do that you're lying to yourself also if you're doing something bad and you tell everybody around you you're doing good well you've told out of your mouth has been so many lies that you kind of start going oh okay well maybe it's not that bad maybe it's not that bad and you start to compartmentalize it and you put it in a little box and you don't see it as, as as bad as it really is, but now it's out there and you've failed and your failure is on blast and people have people see it. This is a wonderful thing for you. As shitty as you feel right now and as horrible as I felt for years and still struggle with my failure, the fact that the truth is out there and you're dealing with reality And you can deal with reality from here on out. You don't ever have to be in that position again. You don't ever have to be that idiot ever again. You now have the 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 key to all of that. The key to getting better is failing and truth. Once you fail, you can look at what's wrong, you can look at how you got there, and you can deal with it honestly, which is something that you probably have not been doing. And then you fix it and you go back and you find the roots of, of, the, of the issues. And remember, we're, this is episode 19, we're 19 episodes into this. Every episode pretty much comes down to self-awareness, 
and you taking responsibility for your actions and not only for your actions, but for where you are right now. Whatever it is that you're feeling right now, whatever bad, good, whatever it is, you can't blame anybody but yourself. So you need to make sure that you take the responsibility for everything that has put you in the position that you're in right now. And it sucks and it hurts, but it is the only way that you are going to get past this failure. And there's nothing better than really honing in on what the failure is, how you got there, and avoiding it forever. Because there's a bunch of people out there that maybe they're doing a bunch of bad stuff too, and maybe not the same level you, maybe way worse than you, but we're not worried about them, we're worried about you. There's a whole bunch of people out there that are dealing in half-truths. They're walking through their day, their lives in half-truths. You don't have to deal with that anymore because you have failed. If you're like me and you can write a book about it, you failed so much, there's no hiding. You have an epic failure. Well, what that means is that cuts out a huge part of what was not good about you and now you can make it good. And that is such a good feeling to have because once you fail and once you figure this stuff out, you can be a better, you can be a, you are, if you take it seriously, you will be a better person than you were going into it. And maybe you weren't that bad. I didn't think I was, I didn't think I was that bad. I made some freaking horribly retarded mistakes and I'm a freaking idiot. But a huge consolation of that failure is knowing that I'm a better person than I was six years ago. I'm a better father than I was six years ago. I'm a better husband than I was six years ago. A better brother than I was six years ago. A better son, a better grandson, a better friend than I was six years ago. And that never would have happened if I hadn't epically failed my ass off. So if you're in a position where you failed or you're failing or you're on the verge of failing or you're feeling kind of a downward, downward spiral kind of a thing, let the truth out. Let the failure kind of take hold and then fix it. And everything gets better. Everything. And I know this is kind of a heavy subject. So if you have any other questions, the favorite so far seems to be Snapchat, but I'm available on Twitter. I mean, if you want, you can find me on Instagram. To find me. It's just one Joey on pretty much everything. You can find me on Amazon, iTunes, all those places. You can comment in the section here. Failure is a wonderful thing. Don't aim for it. It'd be much better to avoid it and just have your shit straight going into it instead of having to, having to fail. But just know that failure is not the end unless you let it be the end. Whatever hole you've dug, whatever position you put yourself in, wherever you are in life, whatever age you are, you can turn it around whenever you want. Any day can be the first day of the rest of your life. There is a huge upside to failing, but it requires honesty, it requires self-reflection, and it requires work. But everybody can do it. You can do it. And I hope you do. Hope you guys have a very happy 4th of July. If you are listening from the UK, I'm sorry you guys lost your I'm sorry you guys lost your territory, but you guys are out of the European Union. If you think that's good, all right. Congratulations. Happy 4th to you guys too. And I hope you guys have a great week, whether or not you are celebrating today with the fireworks. And I will see you on Wednesday. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Go, go, go.